Hello everyone, we will have another lesson for today and that is Grade 6 Science, Quarter 1, Module 1, Lesson 4, Solutions and Their Characteristics. Halos lahat ng household materials like soda, vinegar, wine are examples of solution. Ang solution ay pwede siyang mag-exist into liquid, solid, and gas depending yun sa state ng kanyang solvent. Air is an example of a gaseous solution and ang kanyang solvent ay nitrogen. Steel is a solid solution, ang kanyang solvent ay iron at ang kanyang solute ay carbon. Kung hindi nyo pa po napanood ang ating previous lesson, i-check nyo lang po ang ating page at ang ating YouTube channel. So, napag-usapan na po natin kung ano yung homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture, ano yung um, colloids, and ano yung paano tayo mag-separate ng mixtures through filtering and sieving, and ano yung difference ng solute from a solvent. So, yung solute from a solvent, panoorin nyo yun para maintindihan nyo kung ano yung ating solution. But before we will proceed, please don't forget to hit that like button and then paki-follow and like ng, ng ating page that is Cindy the Thrifty and paki-subscribe na lang din po ng ating YouTube channel that is Cindy the Thrifty. So what is solution? Solution is a homogeneous mixture of one or more solutes dissolved in a solvent. So recap lang tayo, yung solute, yun siya ang tinutunaw mo. Ang solvent is kung saan mo tutunawin yung solute mo. So for example, uh, magtutunaw ka ng asin at saka asukal or asin, tutunawin mo siya sa tubig. So, yung solute mo is yung asin and ang saan mo itutunawin yung asin is sa water. So, yung water, mo, yung water mo is yun yung solvent mo. Remember that any two substances which can be evenly mixed is a solution. Even if it is made of different phases but the result is a single phase, it is a solution. So, it has a uniform appearance meaning meron ka lang isang appearance kapag meron kang solution. For example, nagtunaw ka ng asukal sa tubig. So, kapag natunaw mo na ang asukal, hindi mo na makikita yung asukal sa tubig kasi meron na silang one phase or nagtunaw ka ng asin sa tubig. So, kapag tinunaw mo na ang asin, kapag natunaw mo ng maayos, hindi mo na siya makikita, hindi mo na makikita yung asin. Ang makikita mo is only one phase. So, the solution particles, as what I have said, cannot be seen by a naked eye. Kapag natunaw mo na siya, hindi mo na makikita yon. Hindi mo na masasabi na, oh, ito yung asin dito sa baba or ito yung tubig. Kapag natunaw mo na siya, hindi mo na maa-identify kung saan ang asin doon at kung saan ang asukal doon sa tinunaw mo. So, yun ang solution. Hindi mo makikita sa sarili mong mata. And hindi mo rin siya masaseparate. Through filtration or kahit na mechanical separation mo pa siya, hindi mo na ma-separate yung natunaw mo na na solution. Ang solution din, it does not allow beam of light to scatter. So, hindi siya kagaya ng kuloy. Kapag tinamaan mo siya ng ilaw, hindi mag-scatter yung beam of light. Yun ang characteristics ng solution. So, hindi mo siya makikita sa naked eye mo and hindi rin siya mag-scatter ng light. Solution also is stable over time. So, hindi siya kagaya ng suspension na kapag naiwan mo siya over time, nagsususpend yung mga particles niya sa baba. Hindi siya kagaya ng suspension. So, kapag ano yung face niya, pagkatapos mo siyang imix, ganun din yung face niya kahit na maiwan mo pa siya over time. Ganun lang talaga yung uh, makikita mong kulay niya or makikita mo yung appearance niya. Hindi yun magbabago. Basta tandaan mo na ang solution has a uniform composition and it is evenly mixed. So, sa palagay ko, naintindihan natin ang ating lesson about solutions and their characteristics. Ngayon, test natin kung naintindihan nyo ba talaga. So, let's try this question. What type of mixture is a solution? Yes, solution is a homogeneous mixture or it has a uniform appearance. Another question, what do you call the substance that is being dissolved in a solution? Yes, it is called solute. Yung solute, siya yung tinutunaw sa solution. Solute ang tawag sa tinutunaw na substance sa solution. Another question, what do you call the substance that dissolves another substance in a solution? Yes, solvent. So kung saan mo i-dissolve si solute, ang tawag sa kanya is solvent. In a salt water solution, what substance considered as solvent? Yes, water is the solvent and the solute is the salt. 
Another question, what is not an example of a solution? Not what is not a solution? Okay, so first, acetic acid and water, sugar and water, soil and water, iron and carbon. So which of these four is not a solution? Yes, soil and water is not a solution. So, acetic acid and water is a solution. Sugar and water is a solution. And iron and carbon is a solution. Okay, so that's all for today's lesson. Again, this is me, Cindy from Cindy the Thrifty. I hope you learned something from our lesson for today. Don't forget to share this video to your classmates and friends. Thanks for watching. See you in our next lesson. Bye, guys!